I am Isis and today we're going on a journey to align you to all that is. I embrace each one of you. I allow my love to flow into this group and into each one. Whether you come and participate during this time in which we, this is physically occurring, or whether you listen now or at a later date, you are always a part of the group in that moment in time. Time upon the earth is shifting. There are some aspects that feel as if they are coming into co collision with one another. As you move through your days, there are times in which it feels as if your day stretches longer than even 24 hours. And then there are other times in which it feels as if it passes in a moment. The more that you expand your consciousness and bring into you and around you the crystalline energy, the more you'll be able to work with time, space and energy in such a way that you can assist in creating your reality through shifts in time. Be open to your awareness. Be open to the perceptions that are always around you and within you. Take this moment and allow yourself to be fully conscious of your physical body and your physical surroundings. Feel what this is to you. Allow your consciousness to take in, perceive and anchor where you are physically located. Once that has happened, allow yourself to expand your consciousness in such a way that you release your physical body. As you release your physical body, you may allow your consciousness to reach out and connect with the energies of the magnetic grid. As you are linking with this grid, you find yourself perceiving the aspect of the grid work, which is your higher self, or your higher consciousness. This has a sense of feeling like home to you in a slight way, because you are letting go of the physical confines. Anything that allows for your consciousness the freedom to expand gives you that sense of what you have always considered home. So allow yourself to expand this space within and around you, within the magnetic grid. As you are ready, you may leave behind these energies of the earth plane. Leave behind the magnetic pull so that you may move through the interlocking grid and connect with those energies of the crystalline grid. Allow yourself to open to the finer, more subtle vibration that is in alignment with these crystals. Enjoy what it feels like to let go of the magnetic pull of the earth. Let yourself link 
or align with these energies or let yourself link with one particular energies, whichever you desire. From here, if you so choose, you may call forth a column of light. You may shift through the column or simply shift your consciousness until you arrive in the space of the soul fan. Feel what it is to be within this space. Open to perceive what this space feels like to you. You may call forth your I am presence. Some may feel as if it comes up from within you. Others may seem and see it as a separate from you and then you reach out to embrace. In doing this you are able to perceive a greater amount of who you are. Allow your awareness to expand further so that you may perceive a greater amount of soul essence. And now as I, Isis, come into this space, allow yourself to perceive my energies as I manifest within this dimension or this vibration. This is not me in my entirety but it allows you to link with all of me through this aspect that is represented here. Let yourself connect with me. Allow my embrace to further enhance all of who you are. As I blend with you, I find myself shifting through your awareness into the space of all that is. I perceive each one of you moving into this even finer, lighter vibration that allows you to truly play with the energy of who you are. Now take this moment and perceive the energy around you. You may feel as if you reach out and the energy has a texture. It may feel vicious as you touch it. You may find that your consciousness goes through it or it bounces gently off it. There is no right or wrong way to perceive this space. Each time you come and consciously look, sense and feel around you, you may receive a different perception each time. It's about reflecting back to you and what you are seeking to know. From within you infuse light. Does your light have a specific colour? Is it a blend of all the colours? Let your imagination explore all of what this is to you. Use sound Send out an impulse from your consciousness and see, sense or feel if it just goes on into eternity. 
or if it bounces back towards you. You are here at this moment in time through these perceptions and even more that it comes from within you, you are able to create a multitude of perceptions that you take in. In this space in which there is no linear time, I invite you to play with energies in other ways. See if you cannot perhaps take a section of the energy around you and shift it over on top of another, as if perhaps stacking books. Then since you are working with energy, you are able to perceive how that shift in energy creates other shifts that radiates throughout the entire area. Feel as if you shift around so that your consciousness is in a new space. And then reach out and open up a window in the energies that are around you. As you look through this window, what do you see? For some, it may be as if there is no change from what is within your space. But others may perceive there is something different outside of this little space that you have created for yourself. I have mentioned before how much easier it is to shift energies when you are in this space. The more you allow yourself to create within this space, the more potentials there are for you to create. It is unlimited. This experience has allowed each one of you to be able to understand how the energies of one affect the energies of everything else. It is very natural for energy in its purest form to seek alignment with what is around it. So too is this true for you upon the earth. The energy of your body naturally seeks an alignment with all that is around it. Think for a moment what that feels like. Take this opportunity to feel more comfortable with shifting energies. The energies of your physical body are going to be the most solid or dense. Therefore, they may be the slowest to react, but you can still work with the energies that are around you, with your emotional, your mental, and your spiritual bodies. Not only that, you can work with the energies that are located within your home, the energies within your neighborhood, your city, your state, your country, and the world. Since it is a very natural for these energies to seek alignment as you create within you and around you, the alignment of what you seek to have in your life. You may then send it out in waves. It goes out to the universe, through your home, your city, your state. And it goes out endlessly, so that you may be creating on as grand of a scale, or as small of a scale as you desire. So bring your awareness once more back 
within the space of the all that is. And take this moment to ask yourself, how are you aligned within your life? For some, it may be how are you misaligned within your life? We've spoken often of creating by visualising or embracing what you seek to have. Through this experiment, it's another way of allowing you to perceive how important or how impactful your alignment can be. Within this space, I'm going to send forth an impulse of my love and my light. Let yourself feel it come through you and through the ways in which you were shifting energies around you. It may be that that illuminated something that you had not noticed. It may be that my impulse of light allowed you to create greater shifts or balances. Go back to this energy and create a new pattern. Without any conscious thought, consider what the pattern of energy around you would look like when you focus on the word love. You become aware of how shifts occur in the energy without you doing anything. You simply focus on the word love and the vibrations change. Actually, for quite a many, it's as if we see the image of a heart pulsing out. Focus on the word excitement. What makes you excited? Excited within your life? Think about something that brings you excitement. Or simply think about the word excitement. And again the vibrations shift as you pulsate through your consciousness. Whatever you focus on, you are able to clearly perceive how the vibrations around you are shifting. I'll now ask you for a moment to focus on despair, depression, fear. Take any one of all those and again, perceive the energy around you. There is not as much illumination. It is closed down for those who are, who are within the space of these energies. There is the energy around you that you draw to, to you. I now invite you to consciously bring into this space hope, potential. Immediately you can feel and see how these potentials are changing. If you find that energy pattern around you is still holding a residential, a complete change of an energy that you are trying to shift within your life, allow yourself to send forth a pulsation of energy from within your consciousness that you truly wish to have within your life. Prosperity, relationships and peace. As you are looking around the space in which you find yourself, recognize that you are the creator. I am looking out over a sea of energy pods. 
I might call them. And each one is uniquely different because each one represents the individual consciousness that is working within the energy around them. You see how you are able to create a shift in just a moment. As you walk through your days upon the earth, allow those shifts to happen again and again and again as long as is necessary for you to manifest within the physical plane. Take this moment and be in this energy. Let yourself feel as if you are suspended in this purest energy of light and love. Let yourself be fully nurtured, supported and embraced by all these energies that are around you. You are so exquisite. Yes, that is you. I want you to feel it. Just take these moments to feel it. Now I invite each of you to release that pod or that energy field that you have created around yourself. You may absorb it because it is you. It is part of your consciousness. It is always there and available for you. As you are moving through your days upon the earth, let yourself recognize the ways in which you reconnect with shifting energies. You may shift the energies as you are driving to work so that you arrive on time. You may shift the energies around you as you work on a project so that it is finished on time. You may shift the energies around you and within you if you feel stuck as if you are not moving in any one direction or another so that you may create movement within your life. Movement may start out in a very subtle means but it may easily expand into a tidal wave in certain places but it is still energy as you recognize energy, you may create alignment within the energies. There are those on the earth, especially in olden times, or even those in the current time, that seek to work with energy in a way that manipulate and control. You will find that there is very limited, and in some cases can be painful the type of energy work that I've been speaking of and that you have been doing is about consciously aligning and shifting the energies as you create and manifest in your life. This is a way of allowing the potentials that you create within your life to be allowed to manifest. The timing of this is always surrounded by many variables but you will always have greater understanding whenever you seek alignment. I invite each one of you to look towards the centre of this group. For some, you may have a perception that you are now in an auditorium of sorts. The space is circular, but one does have a sense of tears so that each consciousness can fully see, align and appreciate what is happening. In the centre of this group we see finding a number of energies. These 
many of them have walked upon the earth. We see coming into this space the ascended masters. They walk into this space in which you are, acknowledging those who have come to be a part of this. We see coming into this space those who have represented the world religions. It is as if each of these people come into this space and they too look around at all of you who are here and they bow and acknowledge each one of you. Coming into this group we see all the multitude of angels that are working with this shift in consciousness that is occurring upon the earth. Coming into this group, of course, is Lord Ra. There is no particular reason for the order in which everybody came in, meaning all the vibrational energies. As you can see, the area expands as much as it needs to. We now see entering into the arena a number of energies that you would call extraterrestrials. We see Ashtar and the ETs. As each new group comes in, they make themselves known to all that are here. Let yourself open and send out your love or your embrace to this group or to any particular energy you may choose. Yes, indeed, more and more energies make themselves known. Kuan Yin. And now I walk into and join this group that is within the center of this amphitheater. We look up at all of you and it brings up a great well of emotion. We know what your journey upon the earth has been. We all love and support you, and each one of us here acknowledges who you are and the path that you have chosen for yourself. Open and receive from us. Allow yourself to accept all that we offer. Within this space, as if you were looking at something separate or outside of yourself, Watch as we work with energy. See us send forth the energy of balance. It comes out from within this group as if in a column and then expand outwards to include each one of you. Feel what it is to be in alignment and balance with all of these energies. It is not so different than who you are. We shift to the energies of acceptance. Feel acceptance as it pulsates from this group. Feel its compassion. Let compassion wash over you. And now the interconnectedness of everyone. Let each energy send forth the aspect of themselves. And as they do, so each unique and different vibration blends and aligns into one pulsation of energy and it moves out from there. Your own unique and individual soul essence sends forth and aligns itself with all of those other energies. Each time that one of these pulsations of energy or vibration moves through this group, it went through and resounded through the universe. Take a moment, just feel the alignment, settle into place. This uh, year upon the earth is a time of change 
it is a time in some aspects of collision. Those who seek to remain in the old energy are going to be feeling more strongly the change that is about them. Those who open and allow for an alignment will find an ease in how you manifest and how you simply live your life. This is the purest of energy. This is a part of who you are. You may always call upon this energy. You may align with it. It is completely up to you. As I began to bring these various energies into the centre, there was a separation as if those that consider your masters the teachers, as if they were separated from you. But now you realise that they are not. Open your awareness to perceive that there is a brilliant and immense depth of vibrations and energies within this space. There is no delineation from one person to another. All here are one. The hologram of the earth comes into this space. It is already radiating the light. As those impulses of energy were sent through the universe, so too did it have an effect upon the earth. And the consciousness of this group as a whole sends that hologram of the earth that it may return and blend with the real earth, the physical earth. So take this moment and allow yourself to feel as if you are mingling at a large party. This is an opportunity for you to go and speak directly with whom you so desire. Everyone is here at this time. If you wish to do so, send your perception out that you may become aware of how different the universe is at this moment. Your universe is amazing. There is an ease in this shift in alignment. If you so choose, allow your focus to be upon the earth. Perceive how the earth is aligning. There are many different levels of change occurring. Allow your natural alignment to be that that you seek to have within your life. The energies that are here within this space will be here for a great time to come. It was decided upon many levels to find ways to create greater ease in which humans are able to create a deeper connection within themselves, with their guides, and with those of us who are working with you as you assist the earth in transforming. You are receiving impulses of light on so many levels. Much of this you are unconscious of. Trust, understand that it is occurring. You need not know the specifics. You need not get bogged down. Allow yourself to simply open to accept and be who you are. If you wish to return to this space at a later date of time, you may do so. For now, I invite you to begin to let yourself bring your consciousness back within the space of the soul plane. Allow yourself to find an adjustment or a way in which you feel comfortable within this space. For many of you, there is an aspect of you that you choose to leave within the gathering, and that is fine. Let your consciousness shift even further, coming back within the magnetic grid. Feel once again the gravitational pull of the earth. Feel your humanness. Feel excited that you are alive. Allow yourself to 
feel the excitement about the potentials within and around you. Begin to truly feel your physical body. Feel these energies as you bring in your conscious awareness. Take a moment while you're so connected to look around or perceive around you the energies. And if you so choose, take a moment to work with shifting them. You may shift them as if you are consciously layer them, open the window or see what happens with your intention. Let yourself be fully conscious and aware of who you are. As everyone is coming back within this space, also let yourself ground. Let yourself feel what it is to be within here. As you come back into the room, allow yourself to stretch, feel your feet, your fingers, give them a wriggle, open your eyes wide awake to this present moment. And I thank you for being here on this journey of alignment, of love, of light, and I thank you. Until we speak again, I am Isis with my messenger, Rosalie Muir. Namaste.